Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited because we have a special video for you. We're going to be talking about the differences between show line and working line Belgian turbulence. And because I don't have any first-hand experience with working line turbulence, I decided to reach out to somebody who's been a long-time breeder of both show and working lines. Founder of Dabe Kennel Beata Stibrava. She founded Dabe Kennel back in 1995 and her dogs are in high demand all over the world. And she kindly agreed to help me out with this topic and answered my questions about show line and working line Belgians. And then I used her answers and put together this video. All the information comes from her 25 years of experience breeding Belgians. Some of the questions that we'll be covering today are what the differences between the two lines are, how working lines originated, who should get a show line and who should get a working line, how much more challenging it is to train a working line dog, or also about the pros and cons of crossing show lines with working lines, and a lot more. So let's dive right in. So what are the main differences between working line and show line dogs when it comes to appearance? The show line is more elegant, noble, overall more delicate, often with a more compact body, richer hair than the working line, closer to the ideal of the breed standard. Working dogs tend to be very unbalanced in appearance because their breeders have a minimal interest in the looks. They prefer functionality that leads to good jumps. And when it comes to looks, they will often only focus on an attractive color and adherence to the basic norms of the standard. What's needed is sufficient strength of the body, jaws, and neck length is also important. In general, a strong male head is preferred in males. And the differences in body of both lines lead to differences in movement. The excessive compactness of show lines often leads to steepness, to worse jumps, because the dog is unable to stretch out, which leads to worse athleticism. For this reason, the working lines are also more successful even in sports such as agility, which is a sport that show line dogs usually deal with very well mentally. And in sports such as French ring, even dogs from show lines that have a desire to do bike work and are quite resistant will have big problems in extreme jumps due to their body structure. What are the differences in character and health? The most important difference in temperament is resilience, mental stability, focus, endurance, and commitment to work. These characteristics are essential in the working lines, and breeding is based around them. In working lines, the selection is based mainly on the dog's character, and in the case of show lines, social behavior is most important. Social behavior is innate, but it's very closely related to training and to the dog's self-confidence. Easygoing, friendly dogs are preferred, but self-confidence is often overlooked because it can sometimes be a nuisance, which means that in the long run, this leads to producing weaker individuals. Friendly and social, but weak. When it comes to health, both have their problems that stem from their specific lines and their ancestors. In general, working lines are healthier just because no one at the top level will compete with a sick dog, let alone breed such a dog. Show lines suffer more from epilepsy or gastric cancer, and cryptorchidism is more common, which is a condition in which one or both testicles fail to descend normally. And working lines are burdened by Malinois diseases such as ataxia. Both lines can suffer from autoimmune disorders due to inbreeding, in working turvuren, inbreeding is done minimally, but they come from the Malinois, where inbreeding was and still is often used in the world. Is it true that all working line turvurens come from the Malinois? Most of the currently used lines do. Many are already in the fifth, sixth, or next generations, and breeders are still looking for other unrelated turvurens born to Malinois parents. Who should get a dog from a show line and who should get a dog from a working line? So a show line dog is for those who want to go to dog shows or for those who like the looks of the turvuren and simply want to have him as an active friend. Uh, for complete beginners, the show line is easier. Their sensitivity and empathy is a big plus. 
and a working line is suitable for those who want to work with the dog in any way. People who don't want to train or work with the dog at all should not take a working dog. And it doesn't only have to be protection sports. Even dog born to parents who did protection sports can be happy in dog dancing or agility. You can always reward them by playing tug because in these sports, good jumps, commitment, mental stability, and learning endurance are very important too. But of course, there are other parameters for success in competitions than these. For agility, it's better to have a lighter dog with a lower height at the withers, while dog dancing requires a less barking dog, although it can also be a dog from a show line. Every dog sport has its specific requirements, so for agility, you don't want to pick a dog after giant parents. Uh, in a litter, you may have eight puppies and each one is an individual. It's good to know ahead of time what the owner's plans with the puppy are so that the breeder can find the perfect puppy for them. Many owners started with a show line dog, for instance, with search and rescue training and they had good results, but their next dog was often from a working line. They took a working dog, continued to work on search and rescue training and they achieved even better results. And in addition, they did some protection for fun. If you have a dog that has a talent for everything, and if you keep your options open, you can find yourself doing something completely different than you first thought. In this respect, Bata says she likes how it's done in Finland. There, people get a Belgian Shepherd because they like the breed, but they also accept the fact that it's a working breed and they want to do sport with the dog. IGP is not as widespread in Finland, but most owners of Belgian Shepherds, whether show or working line, do either obedience, search and rescue training, tracking or agility. And this is very good for the breed. Can I have a dog from a working line only as an active family dog, maybe for recreational sports and obedience? Certainly, a good working dog that is well-led and busy enough can be far better than a dog from a show line that struggles with mental issues. But it depends on what kind of person you are. Someone is impressed by a confident dog and is proud that the dog is not afraid. Uh, the owner knows that there could be situations where the dog would protect them and they're willing to forgive the dog for wanting to attack the mailman. And someone prefers a more sensitive dog that is naturally submissive to the owner and they don't mind that the dog is insecure sometimes and they will happily protect the dog in certain situations. But for recreational sports, a show line dog is a suitable choice too. How much more challenging is it to train a working line dog? They are more challenging for beginners, for people who don't have the right connection with dogs and for those who are lazy. Their demands are related to the traits mentioned before, resilience, mental stability, self-confidence, focus. When a dog is resilient and balanced, he's also resilient to the owner. And if the owner cannot communicate well or if they don't understand the dog, the dog will cope better with the owner. And if the owner doesn't meet the dog's needs, uh, the, the need to work, to do a job, the dog will look for alternative activities. And they also have a higher focus, so when they're working, they last longer. When you teach obedience, for example, it's interesting to observe the differences. A show dog has a stronger natural desire to please the owner than a dog from a working line. On the other hand, they may not cope very well with pressure. It may be the fact that you want the dog to work longer or do something differently, to do more repetitions and work without treats. They may feel that you're nervous uh, and they're not so good at working under this kind of pressure. Every dog can sense that, but if the dog is balanced and confident, uh, they will better cope with everything and their performance will be more stable. Uh, Bata says she's had a lot of show line dogs and it was a pleasure for her to train with most of them until she started and until she learned to work with the working ones. Most problems arise from misunderstandings, a lack of rules and boundaries and the fact that the owner does not give the dog a job to do. The Belgian Shepherd of both lines loves their owner. If they can be part of their human's life, uh, they will adapt to it and they'll be fine. But if they're neglected, misunderstood or feel excluded, then a confident dog can be much more demanding than an unconfident one. 
Uh, the best working dogs are often compared to Ferraris. In order for a Ferrari to run properly and for the drive to be an enjoyable experience, you have to learn to drive it. Uh, driving a Ferrari is similar to driving any other car, but it isn't the same. It's harder to get in and once you get in, you have to have a good road to drive on and you also need a reason to drive it. You don't need to have a Ferrari just to go shopping. If you just need a shopping car, uh, there are plenty of other great choices, but if you want to win a race or just enjoy a great ride, a Ferrari makes sense. The same goes for working line dogs. Beata has had several litters where one of the parents is a show line and the other one is a working line. So what are the pros and cons of crossing working lines with show lines? Breeders of all breeds, working lines or show lines are often wary of the so-called hybrids of both lines. People often say it's neither fish nor fowl. Of course, there's some truth to it. Crossing two completely unrelated individuals, even within one breed, you always have greater uncertainty than with connections of related lines. But it's not just about one generation. It's about goal-oriented breeding for two, three or more generations. It requires a lot of patience and knowledge. It's more difficult to find the right homes for these dogs. So neither fish nor fowl. On the contrary, Beata says the possibility of crossing both lines provides a great chance to improve the exterior resistance and health of the show lines. But even that has its rules. Not every working dog is suitable for breeding with a show dog and vice versa. It's necessary to know the lines of both to have a strengthened exterior due to inbreeding or a strong show line and absolute character stability, 100% natural social behavior in the working line, all with good health in the family. In the first generation, Batas had very good experience with crossing both lines. With a few exceptions, it gives dogs that are much stronger in character than the parent from the show line and are far more beautiful than the parent from the working line. It's necessary to know that some dogs from such crossings will not be suitable for breeding. Only the best ones should be used. By crossing both lines, we help the show line because every drop of working blood is instantly recognizable in the dog's character and resilience. For working lines, however, these crossings don't bring any benefits because the improvement of looks is of zero importance to them. In protection sports, can a pure show line dog ever compare to a working line dog? Theoretically, they can. When the chemistry between the owner and the dog works, when the owner is experienced and they're lucky to have a dog that has a talent for training uh, that no one has revived for generations. They can do a lot. They can pass trials, they may even compete, and maybe they can have above average results when they're lucky and the others don't have a good day, but it's unlikely. All dogs who participate in IGP trials and compete at a certain level have someone in their pedigree who has already done something similar. From Beata's own experience, she says that practically every drop of show line blood is visible in the dog's final performance. There are traits that are not desirable. It can just be a little detail that has a negative effect on the performance. If you want to compete, it's not good to make compromises in the pedigree. Uh, today's top IGP ring and PV dogs are so strong, uh, the rating is strict and show line dogs have their limits that stem from their ancestors and the requirements for them. We must realize that not only genetics but also epigenetics affects our dogs. Can working line Belgians be used for herding? Uh, the talent for herding and the talent for protection have the same basis and that is the interest in the prey. That's why many border collies do bite work. They love protection work. It's about the role of the leader of the pack, how the pack works, how and when the dog gets acquainted with the herd, and of course the individual dog. Confidence, resilience, focus, and commitment, on the other hand, are desirable. The handler should make it clear that the dog is supposed to herd, not to hunt. Of course, if the dog is a born predator, without rules around the herd, uh, such a dog will not want to herd and they'll want to eat the herd instead. But there are working dogs that do herding and they're after parents from pure IGP lines and they're very good at it. 
but most of the time these dogs don't get to herding enthusiasts. But again, a strong dog that is persistent, confident, with a clear head should be a very good herder. So to conclude, not all working line dogs are the same and not all show line dogs are the same. You may of course come across a timid, reluctant, working turvian as well as a rough, hairless show line dog. Uh, breeding is about playing with nature and hypotheses, numbers, intuition and choosing a suitable owner. So this is all guys. A big thank you to Berta Stibrova for taking the time to answer my questions. If you want to find out more about Derbe Kennel and all the amazing work that they do, definitely go and check out their website at www.dabe.com. It's D-E-A-B-E-I. And you can also find Bata on Facebook. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and we'll see you next time with another video.